Civil Media. Точка Мака. Слободно, независно, отворено. What are the main goals of the mission uh, observation in uh, uh, North Macedonia this time at the local elections? Well, our mandate, uh, the, the mandate of the OSCOD election observation is always the same. Uh, we come to assess the conduct of the election for its compliance with ODIA commitments, with international standards and with national law. That is quite a fast-changing picture because the law has changed since we were last here. We're, we're looking at uh, the introduction of biometric uh, voter identification uh, technology, and this was introduced at a very late stage in the preparations. So we're following the rollout, the training of the polling staff and seeing how the, the other novelty which we are following is the rollout of the biometric voter identification devices, which uh, were arrived late. Uh, the order came in late and uh, have put some pressure on the administration in order to train. So it's something we're following and like all the voters of the Republic of North Macedonia, we will wait and see what happens on election day. Well, you already have uh, your short-term uh, ODIR uh, election observers uh, uh, arrived and uh, they will be deployed already or have they uh, already uh, been deployed? Are they uh, having any special tasks or is that all in the uh, common uh, well-known mandate of ODIR? No. Uh, the Everything is different now uh, with the special precautions we all have to take because of the pandemic. So we trained our short-term observers. There are 126 uh, short-term observers. They arrived today uh, from 23 participating states. Uh, with good international coverage. Uh, and we trained them, or at least we briefed them, uh, on, online on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we had to time it so that we could be talking to people who were in Zurich and in California. So for some it was morning, for some it was evening. Uh, and we briefed them on exactly what their tasks are. Uh, they are an important component of our mission and one which was missing the last time that Odia observed in the country because uh, for the parliamentary elections it was not possible because of the pandemic. So many stakeholders have uh, welcomed the fact that they will be observing systematic observation of the vote, of the count, and the tabulation of the results. Also the first complaints, if there are any. And this will enable us to have statistics on the conduct of the election, which will help, I hope, uh, give a good picture of the elections. How would you describe the, the election process so far? Uh, what are your main findings? Well, a part of uh, the biometrics uh, arriving late and uh, uh, the, the, the legislation being introduced uh, quite uh, late. The, the amendments to the election code were very late uh, and uh, we already drew attention to, to this fact in our interim report. Uh, and uh, of course this is contrary to international good practice and also commitments. Uh, they address some uh, ODA recommendations, but others remain outstanding. Such as? Well, I think the most important one, uh, the overarching recommendation which remains in place, uh, then we will see after the elections what else we would like to recommend. Uh, is, is that uh, this election code, which is the result of successive adjustments over the years, a sort of ongoing conversation, it has to be pulled together because it is incomplete and inconsistent. Sometimes the articles aren't even aligned with each other. So it's difficult for the administration to implement and to be certain and it's difficult for the 
voters and the candidates to be uh, operating in with legal certainty. So this is very important and I very much hope that uh, political parties will find a consensus and order to uh, enable the citizenry to have something which should be theirs by rights, a functioning, a truly functioning electoral code. Well, uh, final question. Why do you think our institutions are failing to meet these recommendations by Odir? There have been, it's hard to tell, I suppose, it's a historic question, really. Um, it might boil down to political will. Uh, building consensus is not simple. There have been slim majorities in Parliament for some time. But um, I think it's most important that common ground is found on issues like uh, the conduct of elections, which is a way for all the participants to protect themselves, uh, rather than to seek uh, advantage, which is a zero-sum game in politics. Uh, if uh, Parliament has finds time, it would be a gift. Civilmedia. Slobodno. Nezavisno. Otvoreno.